internet i had to come in earlier than i expected because i had to answer this question from zafoon in chat bit of an out of their question but does anyone make slash eat ham and bean soup with egg noodles or is it just me gotta be real with you i don't know if i've ever had in my entire life ham and bean soup in general I assume well actually is ham and bean soup like ham and baked beans because that's what I think about with ham and beans is like a baked bean like a barbecue bean or is it like just like a bean and some ham in like ham water <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I don't know. But I feel like an either well no, actually if it's just ham water and bean, like not like a sauce kind of thing going on. Northern beans. What the fuck what the fuck's a northern bean? I didn't know that beans had a region. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like a it's like a pinto or like a garbanzo although isn't garbanzo like not something you eat with like other bean based things I don't know I think I just don't know about beans the, uh, the, the problem that I'm coming into here huh Checking my audios here. I think I'm coming in higher than the game quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Actually, even... Oops. There we go. That'll help even more. Um... I'm not like a soup expert, though, here also, as I've got to say. Hey, works. Hey, Sam. Um, I don't like soup, generally. Like, soup is like a thing that I only eat when I am very ill. Or, or, when I, like have a grilled cheese but it's got to be like a very creamy based soup if i'm doing that like i'm not dipping a grilled cheese inside of like a a chicken noodle situation it's you gotta have like a potato soup or like a what's the other one uh tomato potato actually that's kind of it tomato or potato soup and you dip your cheesy bread in that thing and you have a fucking fantastic time with that with that amazing soup and and the cheese combo. But it's really more about the bread and cheese in that situation. And less about the soup. The soup is kind of just the... As Sam would put it, the food loop to get the food down. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm interested in this ham and bean soup, though. I love hams. Love bean. Oh, well, I mean, throw enough bits at me and... Fucking, I'll eat soup on stream right now, throwing up bits at me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and fade over to. Oh my lord, that's. You're gonna make me have to be honest about my eating soup on stream thing. <laughs> all right, 
so here's this game that came out. I really didn't want to play New Super Lucky's Tale. At all. <laughs> at all, at all. I just I didn't want to. So we're playing a game called Botany Manor. Just came out. Uh, it says it's a puzzle game. It says it can be beaten in like two and a half to three-ish hours. And that seems perfect for this little Wednesday thing. Um, King Marks asked to get that bad for me. It just was totally fine. Like, if it wasn't broken, then 100% would have just played through the whole thing totally fine. But, like, the fact that it's only fine and then also broken <laughs> it makes it bad for me. That makes it a bad game. So, just had a pass. Just had a pass on that thing. Maybe one day when I have extra time in my life, I'll go back to this thing and do it on stream. I won't do it in my own time, but I might do it on stream. Also, this thing's at 1890, and we're in the game. I feel very tall. Wow. Maybe I've just been playing too much VR, but I feel extremely tall here. Mm -hmm. Oh, odd. All right. What well, notes? So many notes. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at the Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. Text overlay, huh? Neato. I collected a thing. Arabelle Manor, Botany, Somerset. Open parcel. Supports happening in chat over here. Uh, Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Oh, that's the door. Well, I love those bits. Those are super cute. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research, and we'll be in touch with a potential author. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Can you make it less fast? Make what less fast? The game? Like, move less fast? Maybe. But why would you want to? There are actually a bunch of motion sickness options in this, so I'm wondering if people did get a bunch of, like, terrible motion sickness things while playing it. I assume that's what you're referring to. Fresh start. All right, wildflowers. Windmill wart, volcanic flower. Checkered lily, a meadow flower. Sword lily, woodland flower. Daffodil, grassland flower. Zoom in on them flowers. Okay. That's how flowers do. Oh. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck tracking clues, can you help? If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organize and validate your research. I haven't filled in all the right clues for this plant. Wildflower. Fucking nailing it so far. All right. Ideal soil temperatures for Mediterranean flowers. Is this game just going to teach me about flowers through puzzle? Puzzling. That'd be cool. I don't know fucking jack shit about flowers. Also, it's all in Celsius, so it's not even like real temperatures. <laughs> I'm not going to remember any of that until I have to. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, there's so many things to interact with. Holy shit. I, I guess collect seeds. Temperature chart, <clears throat> I guess. Potting instructions. Place pot on saucer. Add soil to pot. Plant a seed. Water the seed. I know that part. I do know that part about seed and stuff. All right, so I got that there, right? Now I got... Wait, where's my... How do I like access my wild seed? 
My wild oats. Oh, scoop soil. Oh, put that back on there. How do I fucking... Yeah. Soil. Plant seed. Where's my seed? Oh. Plant seed. Water. I have a windmill wart. I'll put you right there. Oh, yeah, turn this. Oh, I see. That's gonna be important. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see! Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. Horse bus? What the f fuck is a horse bus? Ooh, baby. Oh, I can turn things! Dearest Arabella, on my hike I came across the windmill wart. A flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. That sounds like a Marianne to me. Says, wow, nothing. Lazy ass paper. The headline, didn't even write an article. All right, so I have to solve the puzzle here. Okay, I have a plant. Right, seems like I can go there just fine. But then, oh, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see. All right, the windmill wart can only grow. Which one's the windmill wart? Volcanic flower. Volcanic flowers. And we're in France? 45? 45 Celsius? Does that seem right? I don't know if that's right. We're going to try it. Nope. Where does it say we are? Somerset Gazette. You can barely see. Okay. That. Postcard from Marianne. Where is it posted from? England. We're in England? Are we in England? Which one of these... Which one of these things say England? Wait, did I even finish my... Add a clue. Postcard. Oh, so that's going to tell me what flower it is, I think. Then, maybe. Right. Windmill wart. Oh, yeah, it's a windmill wart. Okay. It's a windmill wart. Where are you? Oh yeah, windmill wart. I knew that. Windmill wart. Volcanic flower. Windmill wart, volcanic flower. Uh, was there a thing saying where those grow? Windmill wart, volcanic flower. No. Windmill wart. Volcanic soil tempers for Mediterranean flowers. Should we just try them all? <laughs> Keymark says Sam would love this game. Sam also says Sam would love this game. Yeah, this is a Sam game for sure. F E R S U R. For sure. I don't. Where are where are we? Where are we? Let's just try 50 and 60. Couldn't hurt, right? Okay, still didn't grow. So 60. That would make sense because it's like a really hot flower. It's volcanic flower. So then, where does that tell us where? Sicily. Was I supposed to know that? Look at that windmill flower. Windmill wart naturally grows in volcanic soil, which I requires a soil temperature of 60 Celsius. Fake way to measure uh, 
temperatures. The bud contains air purifying qualities, so the flower can filter its environment from dense smog. You're mine forever now. I want you there. Your mind tell right there. The world! This is very the witness E. Not puzzle type, but like, whoa, you can just zoom in and that fucking. <laughs> that gave me a little bit of motion sickness, so I can't imagine what that just did to stream. Drawing from nature. Oh, you can't open it. Just get to know that it exists. Let's sit here. Let's sit here for a second and look at all the nature. Pinky's up. Alright. Hope you all saw that nature. Whoa, there's a run button. What the world needs now is love. Sweet love. Did anybody else watch that uh, Joker fully a de trailer? I think that the fan base is not going to realize that it's a musical until far too late. And that's going to be very, very funny. Home of the Green family. A bell, yes! Woo! Oh. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Oh. Okay. Key. One key of tea. One key up chained. Yay! What the world needs now is love, sweet love. You like crazy violins, boy. This game's gonna have it all for you, man. I'm tempted to sit on every bench to see if there's an achievement for sitting on every bench. But also, ain't nobody got time for that. Hey, duck. No, you can just zoom. Zoom, open that, and run button. Alrighty then. Oh, or, or, or. I can open that door. As I, as I continue to not go through that door. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. That all of you in the bustling city working on your ambitious ambitions both excites and worries me time has indeed passed and yet the old determination for your field remains inspiring to me i never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavors i look forward to hearing about your progress and of course let me know how i can be of assistance upon your return your loving sister elizabeth <laughs> That's funny. Ian chat saying, me and D were recording Dini Doodles and the bit notifications went off because I used OBS. So in their recording you might uh you might get to see those bits in there too. Hell yeah. That's that's worth the bit price right there and two videos for one bits. Lady Arabella Green. I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete, carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family, rather than the current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Gynecologist. <laughs> Look at that family tree. Again, treeing and shit. I feel like that's a pretty early family tree, right? Like, 
I don't know. Well, actually, no, most of them are dead now that I'm looking at it. Now that I understand how this works, most of them are dead, so... <laughs> Uh, no, a Super Lucky's Tale was not cutting it. Because I had the decision of, do I want to play a game that's totally fine and broken? Or not? So here we are. Tauntaun to London Paddington. Issued for return journey. First class. Elderly discount applied. 9th July, 1890. Ooh, doggy bag. <laughs> Seeds. I came across the Fulgaria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. So many clues for this guy. Blurry fucking picture. Camera experiment one. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. Alright, not better. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I have run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. Look, that's perfect. Number two is great. I'm very pleased this picture looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Of the camera. That was good. I wish cameras were still like, nobody had them. What a time to be alive. Is it two faces or two vases, right? I'm just wandering. I don't think I should be. <laughs> this is clearly like I shouldn't be wandering. I need to be like concentrating on a place and solving puzzles. And I sure do just keep walking around, don't I? The art of painting. Oil and fresco. Alright. This is a beaker. Let's see. Sulfur. Sodium. Barium. Chemical disposal. How do you make a mustard gas again? Are you allowed to say that on the are you allowed to ask that on the internet? How do you make mustard gas? I feel like that's something cool though, right? Let's go put this in something. Folklore book. Oh, cool. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved a flower in the woods. Though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find Fulgaria, for this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Alright, I feel like we figured out folklore and a photograph. I was right. It just sort of gives it to you. You don't really have to figure it out. So that's good. What the world? Okay. To the back terrace. Okay. And now... I feel like I could clearly read this. These past weeks, I have... There we go. Been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. Okay, well... Cameras do what cameras do. Don't know what to tell you, man. Oh. I don't think that was the right chemicals. Yeah. Yeah, those weren't the right chemicals. Sam, in chat, you know cameras. What makes flash powder? I'm sure there's a thing around here telling me somewhere. Or actually, there probably was already a thing that told me somewhere and I didn't pay too much attention to it but if chat just knows actually do one of those pictures I find tell me actually <laughs> that might be the thing one of the pictures might have told me whoa whoa holy shit that was weird 
that down. Picture so dark, rolls me a flower. I can't believe how quickly they ran out of that incredibly expensive. Oh, it just says they ran out of the flash powder. Doesn't say what the flash powder was. All right, we gotta figure out what the flash powder was then. You go back right there, Peeker. I feel like phosphorus is definitely part of it though, right? I think that's fair. Google says potassium percolate and aluminum powder. Lucky well, has a phone. Potassium and plutonium? No, potassium and aluminum. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, the game keeps fucking jumping me ahead a lot, and I don't like that. Potassium. Hmm. Don't seem to have aluminum. Let's find try titanium. Let's see what happens. It seems like it's close to that. Close to aluminum. I don't even have to take a picture of it, though. Yeah, that didn't, didn't do. All right, they're going to have a specific thing they want me to do with that, clearly. So let's let's wander around a bit more. Figure this place out a little bit. What do you think? What do you think? Figure that out. <laughs> All right. Give some people motion sickness. Combo lock. Cool. Alright, we gotta kill this plant in order to get into that room. Alright, we're figuring out the blockades. Uh, sorry, man, but this was in and out. Shouldn't there be instructions somewhere? Yeah, Sam, there should probably be instructions somewhere, but I don't, I'm not an instruction bitch, okay? So, I don't know. I'm gonna put dad here. See if that works. <laughs> I thought that was gonna work for a second. Eeg. Well, they're figuring that out, I guess. Whee. I got a key to a back area, so I should probably check that out. Dartmoor, home to breathtaking sights. Hound, Tor, Wistman's Wood, Becky Falls. Okay. Oh, more book. Bud. Fire has potential to be among the most devastating forces of nature. Despite this, humans have developed the ability to invent, wield, and attempt to manage it. Meanwhile, certain species in Plant Kingdom have evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. In areas where forest fires occur frequently, pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. Facts about pyrophiles. Their seeds typically possess tough shells. Some pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat, and they come when they see fire. I think I think that's what a pyrophile is. I can't be sure. Hey, that carrot! I got the key for that. Yay! I'm in a different part now. Kind of. Hey, plants. We're trying to figure out what makes you grow, though, guy. Dartmoor poster. Alright, pyrophiles. We need more clues to figure out how to grow you. Soil. Seed. Water. And then... We're gonna have to put you somewhere, but we don't know that part yet. Oh, for Bud, I don't think there was a U in the puzzle dial, Zavoon. Flowering Plants of Great Britain by Anne Pratt. See, this is Sam's type of game because of all the flowers and the wandering around part. And it's my type of game because I fucking love these kinds of puzzle sections. Seed log. <laughs> it's what a bachelor calls their journal. A summary of some seeds I've gathered this year in the location I found them at. One, cow parsley, blackdown hills, poppy, cheddar gorge, buttercups, steer marshes, ash plume, wisman's wood, uh, wood enamane, howford comb, wild thyme, cool bone wood, foxglove, fort abbey. It is gross, Sam. 
Bachelors are gross. Don't know what to tell you. That's the formal garden. That's the black tie event garden. Who's this from? Grace, female name. My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited America's and brought back. Wait, how do I do a British female accent? So, so this would be like a British accent then? My dear friend Arabella, a friend of mine visited America's and brought back a pair of fabulous gray squares. They're all the latest trend in garden decoration. All my neighbors have them. Have <laughs> all my neighbors have sent for them as well. It was a great investment the two squares have now. <laughs> my voice is becoming weirder. Started a big family and my garden is full of darling little critters. One thing I didn't notice is that I haven't seen a red squirrel in my garden for some time now. How odd. You must visit soon and see the squirrels for yourself. Ever yours, Grace. I... My voice over abilities are quite limited. <laughs> you, you discover that very quickly doing this. Alright, that's a... That's a bug. Jimmy broke another mortar. That boy really needs to learn how to grind spices without breaking down my kitchen. Lady Arabella may not be best pleased with me asking for a new one. The last mortar took years to be sorted. She's now she is so scatterbrained, always off on her fancy research trips. Shopping list. Flour, egg, just one, milk, leeks, potatoes, carrots. And I got a key to the kitchen. Wait, do I have another seed log? Okay. Photographs. Okay, I have all the things. So it needs to be like wet then is the thing. It needs to be like real wet? And electrocuted? <laughs> Do I need to like shock it, the plant? I'm gonna take it with me to the kitchen. It's gotta be what it is, right? It's gotta shock the shit out of it. Painting room. Kitchen. Or do I have to set it on fire? Nope. <laughs> don't gotta do that. You don't have to cook the plant. We learned. Put you right there, plant. The ancient oaks stand tall in Wistman's wood. Covered in moss, they withstand stood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell. Those trees in Wistman's wood. Oh, it's like a poem. I've gotta restart that then. The ancient oaks stand tall in Wistman's wood. Covered in moss, they withstood the test of time. Though none can tell the sorrows that did befell. Those trees in Wistman's wood. Much better. Much better. Alrighty. That's very small. Blessed is this kitchen by grace and holy light. May all those who enter find comfort and respite. Blessed is the breath with laughter and with cheer. May the love shared here be held forever dear. To those who serve the Lord who seek their sanctuary, remember the year of construction, for this, friends, is the key. Didn't nail the ending. Didn't sanctuary is the key. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, dear. Nope, that's a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and tons of weights. Cool. Alright, I gotta put something there that weighs that much. We'll figure that out later, too. Hazel's Priceless Recipes for the home, farm, workshop, and every department of human endeavor. Ooh, roasted chestnuts. That's a real thing I learned uh, frustratingly recently. <laughs> this is a simple recipe, perfect to warm those cold winter nights. You can use any edible chestnuts. They are easily foraged. I've never seen one. The main difficulty with chestnuts is that they have a tough shell, but luckily they're easy to crack open with the help of fire. 
Simply place the nuts in a pan above the fire and wait until you hear a pop. This means that your chestnuts are nicely roasted and ready to eat. Okay, well, when I just find my fucking wild chestnuts wandering around the goddamn forest. Society of Historians, Southwest Group, monthly lecture open to all society members. The History of Dartmoor, given by a resident natural history professor. The professor will present how the moor was once covered in a majestic forest and woods, how early settlers came to the area. Cleared most of the trees for pasture using fire as their method of choice, it promises to be a fascinating story of how the moorland we know and love today came to existence. Cool. Hey, the thingy! The thingy, the thing else I'm talking about. Dear Lady... Wait, is this guy? Yeah. Dear Lady Green, we received your letter applying to study botany at our College of Natural Sciences, along with your enclosed drawings. We do not at present, and have never admitted women to study at the college. Fuck yeah, fuck those women. Botany is a serious science conducted in laboratories and lecture halls. By all means, continue to pursue your hobby tending to your garden, and domestic space where it may be appreciated. Positions at the college are reserved for serious scholars whose studies will go on to be well utilized in career botanical experimentation. Therefore, with all politeness, we do not offer these valuable positions to amateurs that should otherwise be taken up by genuine academics. What a fucking prick. Fuck that guy. Who's up their own ass enough towards like, oh, women can't fucking grow a flower. Bitch. This probably means something. Uh, just reading in chat that Sam uh, calling me out for the chestnut thing. A little bit rude. I just thought it's... It's part of the song. So. Not everything in songs is real. Is all I'm saying. Okay. A picture. <laughs> One of those is worth... Oh, God. Do it again. Oh, just dun 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 Oh, hey! Flash powder! Empty flash powder. Bottle contains 57 grams of flash powder. Chemical compositions, potassium and magnesium. Two to one ratio. Wait, wait. Potassium, magnesium. Oh, hey, I can read this now. I already read it earlier, but... Potassium, magnesium, potassium. That's what I gotta do. Potassium, magnesium, potassium. Potassium. Magnesium. Potassium. Oh, and then I bet I gotta take a picture of that plant, and then the plant's gonna be like, boom, I'm a plant because of lightning or whatever. Well, it's not. You know. Where I where I leave it? <laughs> where do I put the plant? Doesn't matter what I, my reasoning. Where's my plant at? Uh, oh wait, I put it over here in front of the thing. Fulgaria. Fulgaria. Ful Fulgaria. People often say my name as Jiria. And it's quite frustrating. Alright, then I put plant here. And then... What's that? No. Nice. Take a picture. I didn't. Why didn't you do? Oh. Take a picture. It worked. Aw, oh, man. Now I wish I knew I had to close it earlier. Because I would have been, like, closing it for all the things. <laughs> See what it did. Ooh. Bulgaria only grows during thunderstorms, where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. I feel like we just figured it out. I'm going to put a bunch of weird chemicals in that now. That seems fun. Um, Phosphor, sulfur, barium. Let's see what happens. I think something will happen or nothing. I'm also going to move my plant when I do this. Like the thing. There we go. 
move my plant out of the way. There we go. Oh, take my picture. Yeah. Nothing. Just nothing happens. Lame shit. Whatever. I don't even care. I'm gonna go put this next to my other plant. Yay! Wait, I should put my plants in here. I gotta get my other plant now. It's way over here. Look at me being a plant dad. Oh, hey, stop. Walking stick. Eleanor. My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you like in your younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others. Whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see ourselves for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. That was Southern. That was definitely not. That was not British. That was very Southern. In my defense. Pretty similar. Pretty similar. A lot of rooms that I can't get into. Did this lead me to my thing? Or vice versa, or whatever? I'm gonna plant. <laughs> I don't remember this path. But apparently that's the right one. Okay. My plant's gone. Did I take my plant somewhere else? Did I take another plant? Soil. That. Water. Sorry, set the thing. Dope. Uh, don't they always call you Jeremiah or Jericho? Um, I Jericho, yes. Uh, frustratingly, and Jeremiah a lot. There's no, there's no Aya. There's not an M in my name, even a little bit. But boy, howdy, do people say Jeremiah? So much. And only Sam calls me bitch. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a dear friend of mine. There's something, something, something. And everything else sent a joy. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know the word. Is there a U in here? No. There is an E. Library hall. Okay, I gotta kill this plant still, right? <laughs> Can't imagine any other way that I get rid of that. And maybe that's the problem. I need to stop thinking about how to kill it. And I need to start thinking about how to make it thrive. <laughs> Boy. What was in the kitchen? There was something in the kitchen too, wasn't there? Joy to the world. Oh, you boys and girls. All right, kindling. I can put a plant in there. Uh, there's not like plant stuff here. There are a bunch of weights. I feel like I have to like get the exact weight of something. But there's nothing in there. So like, what am I supposed to be weighing? Inspect two ounces. That's two ounces. All right. Sheep flag. Sheep flag. Careful rules of the tongue. Does it have to be one or the other? <laughs> I mean, I guess I could be bitchy Jericho or uh, something of that combination. Why not? To someone special. Dearest Hazel, I picked you some roses from the garden to cheer you up. When you're done with your work in the kitchen, 
Would you like to meet me for a cup of tea in the back garden? The pond is lovely this time of year. Warm regards, Mr. Bennett. You know what they say when they say, meet me in the back garden, though. <laughs> nudge, 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 Ollie. Nudge, nudge. Ollie doesn't have a significant other. Because he would eat it. Yeah. Yeah, he'd eat it. Chapter 4, Home Smoking and Curing. The type of wood to use in your smokery is of great importance, though which one to pick depends entirely on your personal tastes and preferences. Burning wood from different types of tree produces different smoke aromas. This is due to different chemical compositions in each type of smoke, and has a great impact on the flavor of your smoked food. So in summary, choose your wood logs with care. That's true. What am I making? Smoked food. Got it. Oh, I just gotta, like, choose what to fucking... Did I just... To figure out what wood to put in here? Uh, what would I put with sausage? Maple. I'll put maple with sausage for sure. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Take it all with me. No. Joy to the Lord. Maple and probably like oak. That's what I would do for a sausage. Like an oaky maple. Banana bread at work? Hell yeah. There we go. Smoke that sausage. I'll be back in a little bit. I imagine I have to actually put something in that room for this to work. <laughs> so. This is a kitchen. A place where you might imagine food would be. I'm apparently figuring out. The ash plume. Seed packet location, the rose garden. Afterwards. Okay. Can I just reset? Reset clues. Ugh, I have to do it all of them. Dumb. Alright. So for that, I would need. I wish I could, like, look at the things. Flash powder. Um. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Why do I have to figure this out now? And why can't I still find look at my clues? My index. Whoa. that one out they're all conservatory so maybe the other one's gonna be all drawing room is the idea maybe is that these clues too oh, clearly I need to look for that drawing room anything drawing room I guess right I don't know. Photographs. I 
guess was part of that one. And then I just keep changing that one out until I get it. None of those worked, so like. Why do I have the flash powder bottle on there twice? files right and then seed log from rose garden and then I wish I knew what that fucking poem was it's in the servants hall is that this one test of time though none can tell the sorrow that did befall those trees and wisdoms to the test of time I must maybe it's that one Smoking book, why does that mean? What the fuck? Okay, so the flash powder thing, 100% gonna be that. The poem. Maybe. Drawing room letter from the farmer, yes. Photographs. Has to be that one. So what else? Folklore book, no. Screen's passage, no, apparently. I'm gonna be the cooking book. I'm gonna be that lecture thing. I sure hope I don't have to figure out the the clues to them to move on. Oh, does it tell me the clues for the chapter? Okay, so there's clue that I haven't found in the drawing room yet. Okay. I need to go back to the drawing room drawing, drawing board is the saying but yeah <clears throat> oh hey look a clue that I didn't find so many clue I didn't find I bet I'm gonna figure this one out now Still did fuck me. <laughs> All right, so what clue am I missing for that? Okay, so I have found all the clues for chapter two. Flash powder, yes. Letter from farmer, yes. Photographs, yes. Flashlight, yes. So poem is one that maybe not so much. Folklore, cool. Just I'm gonna cooking book maybe, and then a Dartmoor lecture, and then maybe that poem, and then maybe poster. Cool. All right, I need to keep all of these clues so I don't get confused about that. Now I need to go to the rose garden though, so that I can find those seeds. Where was the rose garden? What the world? Needs now is this rose garden? No, that's the back terrace. That is locked from the other side. Maybe that's the rose garden over there. That is the formal garden. That's my bad. Yep, no, I'm the I'm the idiot for that. Locked from the other side, huh? You go to the rose garden and it tells you to lean a little bit closer for roses. It really smell like poo oo oo. What? Is that a reverence that I don't get? It's gotta be here, right? Somewhere? Alright? No, it's not here somewhere because this isn't the rose garden actually. I have to find the rose garden. God damn it. Index. It's a song? 
Go to the rose garden. He tells you to leave a little bit closer. If roses really smell like poo. Ooh, ooh. Nope, I don't know that song. <laughs> Map, rose garden. Seven. I'm in the rose garden. I'm in it. I'm in that fucking rose garden. All right, so the seeds are here then. All right, pot. Soil. Uh, not a seed. There's gotta be a bag somewhere in this fucking garden. That I'm just overlooking. It's Roses by Outcast. I heard it a lot in high school. I don't think I know that song. I wouldn't say back terrace with the rose garden, though. Is this specifically the rose garden? Yep, because that's that seed. But I already figured out all the clues for it. Might be a tough case to crack, it says. I doubt it. How about I have to... Mm, well, I'm just going to try planting it first. Water. And then I'm just going to go and put it in the fire pan in the kitchen. The whole clue of the chestnut thing makes it seem like that would be the... Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Do a little dance, dance. Do a little dance. Do a little motion sickness dance. Motion sickness. I'm going to close my eyes. <laughs> Alright, cool. I made the... Made the ash bloom. Why don't run away? Look at that. And it's gone. Can I put it in here? Ooh, I can put it in here. So what wood does the ash bloom need? Cherry. I don't know if I have to go to the door for this. Cherry didn't seem to work. I feel like it would have worked pretty quickly if it were going to work. Birch. <laughs> Life's a birch, you know what I mean? Uh, he says, do that dance to simulate what it's like for me to play a 3D game for longer than 30 seconds. <laughs> so I was thinking, so I've been playing. A lot of Resident Evil 4 Remake VR. And it feels like the perfect way to play that game. Like, it's it's so much more fun than just Resident Evil 4 Remake. I mean, just because I just played so much Resident Evil 4 before. So that's like, that's on me, maybe. But. Um, it seems so clearly just be like the ideal way to play that. And I was like, man, this would be great for when E finally gets to it. That'd be the way for him to play it. But, uh, no fucking way. I don't know how you'd handle that, man. So, like, I mean, I actually don't get motion sickness with it at all, which is nice now. But I don't know how you'd do. So you get motion sick real easy, like. The ash plume is a pyrophile. Evolved to survive harsh forest fires. Its seed cracks open with extreme heat, and afterwards, the oak smoke from its habitat wistman's would indicate it safe to bloom. I'm gonna put you on the table with the rest of my guys. Hey, house delivery? Oh, shit. Oh, exciting time, gay house delivery. Woo! Fuck yeah. Amazon came. He says, I'm just going to straight up say a VR version of a game is, like, not the best way to play it for the first time. Disagree? It doesn't It doesn't feel like an afterthought at all. It's not like a, and we threw this in for whatever. Like, it feels like 
game was very much designed around the idea of VR. It is by far my favorite VR experience thus far. I got a key to the orchard. I'm currently busy researching, please. Oh yeah, I read that right. Here, please deliver a new key for your orchard gate. We hope you are enjoying the gate. <laughs> Don't hesitate to visit us again, should you need further metalwork or decorations for the manor. Sincerely, John Babbage. Like binging with? Orchard over there. I don't think it is. I should look at my map. I have a 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 map. Alright, where's Orchard? Five. Oh, way over there. Alright. <laughs> Those who are subscribed right now get to listen to me beatbox, and those who aren't, you're missing out. Two new plants added. see exactly how many puzzles I have to solve. <laughs> That's kind of nice, actually. Open. Yay, I did it. Red Campion. Fox Glove. Other things. Primrose. Sprigden Scrub. Hyacinth, Pixie Tears, Bluebell, Cradle Fern, Tincture of Iodine, perfect for preparing microscope slides. Um, he says, but I also don't understand what a VR version of that game would even be unless it's first person. It is first person. They changed it the, to a different perspective entirely. Uh, they change how your weapons work. They change how physics work a little bit. Um, they change the aggression of enemies in it to be far more aggressive than the regular game, since you have more mobility and stuff like that to wander around. Um, there's other exploits you can kind of use, like, that weren't in the original game design, like, you can throw your knife. Um, which in Resident Evil Village in VR wasn't thought about, because your knife doesn't, like, get destroyed. But, in Resident Evil 4 Remake, it does. So, kind of evens it out there so you can just like throw your knife whenever you want and that's fun um then what else what else is different um all the inventory management's the same all the mini games and stuff are the same all the puzzles are the same um yeah yeah besides that it's like it's it's literally the same exact game like there's nothing added or changed in from remake uh, except for just the guns you have to treat like guns you just like reload like guns and they all reload differently and stuff like that for the scoped things you like, have to like look through one eye because the other eye just sees the other thing like only wood's very cool um chloroplasts in the world of plants the sun is the ultimate source of energy chloroplasts small organelles or organelles or organelles inside the cells of a plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. 
However, not all plants have chloroplasts. Some plants rely on organic matter for their energy and do, do not photosynthesize. They have lost their chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through their roots. It is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these particular plants. Uh, he says, see, that's why I don't think it'd be the way I'd want to do it first. That's such a different experience from the original then. Uh, it's not terribly different. Out. Yeah, thank you guys for so many of the things. Uh, bits. Bits in the bobs. Orange mosaic. Um, it's literally the same game. Just a uh, different perspective, that's all. Back in the Middle Ages, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth, all Catholics were boo, persecuted. <laughs> Persecuted by the law. Therefore, some households built secret rooms in case they needed to hide a priest that was visiting their family home. Hmm. That's where it started then, huh? Many of these so-called priest souls... <laughs> priest hole, huh? Okay. Many of these so-called priest holes... Were designed and built by Nicholas Owen. Hope you're proud of those, Nicholas. Only the owner of the house and Nicholas himself knew about the location. Because of this, it is thought that there may be many undiscovered priest holes throughout England to this very day. Yes, children. You too could have a priest hole. You so desired. Lady Arabella. Thank you for inviting me to Botany Manor last Monday. As a historian, I found it wonderful to see an authentic medieval manor, especially one as beautiful as yours. I apologize again for not being able to locate the priest hole in your house. Although I am convinced it exists, and we will find it one day, it won't be easy. They tend to be hidden well, and sometimes require um, elaborate mechanisms to be opened. Kind regards. Professor Penny. I just... <laughs> Is that real? That can't be real. That can't be real. <laughs> Oh. Dearest Arabella, how are you getting on in your garden? I hope it's getting better. No, I hope it's getting to be too much for you on your own these days. Wow. Third take. Sorry, just I'm thinking about priest holes. You know how it goes. I hope it's not getting to be too much for you on your own these days. Our mutual friend mentioned you had been struggling to germinate the ash plume. Have you tried making sure there's fresh compost in the pot? Stubborn seeds often need that to grow. I'll visit you sometime and perhaps I can find a way to crack the seed for you. I can show you the book I've been working on at the same time. Yours sincerely, Charles Tucker Esquire. <laughs> hey, found a... Found a seed. This flower is closely associated with orchards. I wonder why. <laughs> Somebody's got to Google priest holes. Notes on soil additives. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I have found the following amounts to work best with my different pots. Uh, I feel like I need to know this and I don't want to know this. 97. 97? That seems like the pots that I have, right? Was the seed in the priest hole? <laughs> scared what I might find if I Google that. Yeah, no, I would. I would be scared. I would be scared. Don't want to just go around googling priest holes. Ninety-seven. I feel like that is the weight that I have to match. In the kitchen, right? That seems like the thing. But I don't think I had weights that went that heavy in there. Let's find out. I'm 
we'll get into that priest hole, don't you worry. Kitchen's over here. Alright. No, we don't have enough to, to get that. Not even close. Okay. Come on. When I find that symbol, I know that means the priest hole, though. Remember, because when you see a sheep with a British flag, that means priest hole. Run away. <laughs> run away. If you ever find a priest hole, run. Okay, more clues to be found, I presume. The wolf glove. High on the mountaintop so steep grows a flower that's hard to keep. Its petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. The mountaineers who climb up high listen for the whistle as they try to find their way amidst the snow and reach the summit. Cheeks below. Cheeks aglow. Don't like it more. With every step, they hear it loud. The wolf's glove howl, clear and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Dionys! No. Dionys, I have gathered a selection of my cherished toys and books, among them my beloved piggy. I highly recommend the nursery rhymes. They are charming as well as educational. Though I'll take no offense should they put your little one straight to sleep. With all my affections, Auntie Arabella. I feel like that was better, right? It wasn't so bad. All right. What else am I investigating? Okay. Right. Let me put that in. Pixie Tears. All right. Let's look at the clues. Pixie Tears. Don't have even enough clues to do anything with that. So I'm just going to fill all them bitches out. Pixie Tears. I feel like I saw that over here, though, right? Pixie Tears. Yep. White. Okay. Sketch is also just white. Adapted to obtain energy absorbing through their roots. So I have to add sugar? Do I have to add sugar to pixie tears? Or does it like to be in like a shaded area? It looks like. No, that doesn't seem to affect it at all. Okay. Let's go up this hill. Oh, wait. Lady Ar- wait. Willie the Builder. Lady Arabella, I've received your request for repairs to the roof of your golden tower. Alas, I must confess that I am not the man to undertake this task. It may have escaped your notice that the tower in your orchard is known as locals, the turbulent tower it is. Believe that the poltergeist dwells within the walls. Legend says that the spirit is evil and brings ferocious winds up. Upon anyone who dares enter the tower. I don't want to provoke the wrath of this ghost, and I advise you to refrain from meddling with the tower. Willie the Builder. Lots of reading and learning. Uh, you're not only taking in information that you want. Things that you th feel might pertain to a puzzle. Oh, look at that. More soil stuff. Mountaineer's Guide to Alpine Exploration. Hmm. Be sure to wear the correct gear when climbing the winds in the Alps can be fierce and chingable? That must want to say changeable. But that definitely says chingable. Is advised to wear thick, warm clothing and sturdy boots with a good grip. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tower wind research. Test one of six. Wind speed 35 on third floor. Wind speed of 50 on the second floor. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm following. Wind speed of 45 on the fourth floor. Right. 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 Wind speed of 20 on the first floor. Ooh, that's. But that's going to equal out wind speed 20 for everywhere. Right. That's the problem. Wind speed uh 40 on the fourth floor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wind speed of 25 on the fifth floor. Right. 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 Somehow my anemometer broke. I hope there isn't a poltergeist in the tower after all. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I hope uh, they don't expect me to understand that. That ooh, ha ha! Open door. Yeah. I got a key to the painting room, motherfuckers. Lady Arabella, as you can see, the staircase of the orangery collapsed in your absence. I've already written to the builder and hope he wants to sort it out. Though, as you know, he can be difficult to pin down. He keeps hiding in priest holes. I do apologize that this is getting in the way of your research. I don't suppose you could find another way into the bottom level? Oh, I, I, could, I, could, I could probably find a way. <laughs> I could probably do it. To Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset. From Natty Golding. Future owner of Natty Light. Dearest Arabella, we made it to the Alps. We are so sad that you couldn't join us this time, but we understand you are busy creating your herbarium. Yesterday we were lost on a hike until suddenly we heard a strange whistling tune. We followed the sound and soon enough we discovered it was coming from a tiny flower. If only you had been there to tell us what kind of flower it was. Your loving friend always, Natty. Natty liked. Okay. Oh, hey, that's where the priest hole takes me. Okay. Gotta find out what, like, an, a sheep or an orange weighs or something, probably, then. At least I know where the priest hole goes. Oh, man, they're gonna want me to figure this out, aren't they? Because when I have to like put a plant and they have to like grow a specific thing, probably. Oh, I don't like it. I feel like I have to know math and I don't want to know math. Also seems like the one that would go here though. But also Pixie Chairs also said I kinda needed the fucking uh, what's it called? But you know, the thing, the what's it called thing. Sugar, right? Is that what it said I needed sugar? Orangery. I was close to you, so there's orchards. I wonder why. I'm just gonna clear all these clues. Orchards. So I'm just gonna say. Oops. Pixie Lily probably needs to go to a different area, right? Not the windy one. Or Pixie Tears, whatever it's called. Sam's right. Let's go peer into that priest's hole. Or the priest hole, whatever. the painting room, Robin. We're here. Wow. It doesn't look like I have to make any plant grow in here. But it does sure seem like there's lots of clues about things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a map that I understand. Right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, well. 
That'll be something. My dearest Arabella in gardens fair, you grace the scene, a flower rare. Your presence beams with radiant light, a lily's charm, so pure and white. Your hands like petals, soft and fine, in tender touch a love divine. And in your eyes a brilliance glows, as daisies fair in spring's repose. Oh, how I long to have you near, to cherish you, my heart sincere. Like roses freshly cut, you'd be the trophy of my home with glee. It just... You'd be with glee. I don't like it. They're just losing it right at the ten yard line. Is that what it is? That's a painting. Lady Arabella, I was wondering if I could join Miss Bennett into town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. The one we have is rather ancient and I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make more delicious skeins. If you could let me know your decision before the afternoon, that would be lovely. In your service, Miss Parson. Symbology. A study wherein the discerning reader will find a history of the use of religious and folkloric symbols throughout the art of the world. Triskelion, Neolithic, Taoism, Star and Crescent, Islam, Wheel of Dharma, Buddhism, Star of David, Judaism, Agnes Dai, Catholicism. I've never seen that. Anybody in chat, have you ever seen the sheep with the flag for Catholicism? That doesn't seem normal. I was going to say. Ik Ankar, Sikhism, Om, Hinduism. Okay. So that's definitely the priest hold in, though, the sheep thing, if that's what they're going for. Just saying. Why was this room important? This room doesn't feel important. Oh, there's more clues. Who's it from? Who's it from? J.W. Surtees. Dear Mrs. Green, your research proposal on the structure of coastal plants was of quaint interest. We have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you are set on botanical field work, you might assist Professor Montague in his work on British meadow orchids. I am sure your natural aptitude for domestic duties would be much appreciated. Might I also recommend John Lindley's book, Ladies, Botany, or A Familiar Introduction to the Study of the Natural System of Botany. It is an elementary book for in scientific readers. And I, and one I have heard in a suitable amusement for ladies with such as yourself. Being about a mother who wishes to teach her children about plants, respectfully, J.W. Sotis. The men in here, like, fucked. I have not, Sam says, but maybe ask your Catholic person. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, -huh, Professor John Montague and Montague Robert Brown Arabella Green. Still don't know why the room's important. In the water. Okay. Did it like unlock map for me? It doesn't seem like it unlocked a map for me. Oh, there's a big old fucking piece of map. God damn. Library hall, second floor, nothing there. Fresh start. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Figured out all that. Yep. And we're on two, three. Okay. Pixie tears. No fucking clue. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the orangery yet, so not gonna worry about that guy. All right. Flower is closely associated with the orchids. I wonder why. Orchids. With orchids. How does an orchid grow? What is an orchid? Do I have to read all this again? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. 
Okay, so if I figure out what mountain that it was on. Then, oh, orchard, not orchid. Oh, oh, so that one's going to be important for the orangery. Okay, so that means that the Alps one is going to be the little lily thing. Uh, okay, uh, okay, um, let's see. I'll have to look at that in a minute. That wind speed will be important for my little flower. Look at these clues again since I can't just pull them up. Now I'm here to take task. Tower Orchard Orchard is known as locals as the Turbulent Tower. Right, figure all that out. Poltergeist, Ghost, sure. <laughs> just two letters about pre souls. We'll ignore that. Plants, chloroplasts, small arenas. It says cells of the plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. Yes. Not all plants have uh, rely on organic matter for their energy. They have lost their chloroplasts over time and have instead adapted to obtain energy to absorbing sugars through their roots. It's therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating the peculiar particular plants. Okay. Pixie Tears. The sketch is all white. Why does that matter? Does it? I just don't know if it does matter. Every step here, the loud wolf's glove howl and proud, guiding them through paths unknown to reach the summit and call it home. Okay, so. There's a flower that's hard to keep, the petals delicate and bright, whistling in the wind with all their might. Whistling in the wind with all of their might. Education alone, they go offensive, but they want straight to sleep. Okay. Getting in your garden, too much. Mutual friend mentioned. Struggle and germinate. The ash bloom. We try to make sure there's fresh compost in the pot. So we're going to use up needed to grow. Did fine with that. Tell me about different pot additives. That doesn't matter, I think. I think. Pot, soil, and pixie tears. Water. I seem to need to put it in wind, but I don't know what wind to put it in. Priest hole. Never go full priest hole. Is this telling me what the wind thing is? It's not even telling me what wind is it. I don't even know if this is the fucking plant that needs the wind. That's the frustrating part. But if it's the Alps. The Alps are very, very cold, very, very high wind. So I gotta go figure out the formation that makes the most wind. God damn it, wrong one. These are the kind of puzzles that I don't like. Just slowly do a thing. 
and slowly undo it then. Like if I'm solving a puzzle or not, let me like let's get it. Let's get to it. Tell me I'm wrong or right. Alright, let's look at this thing. Alpine Club, yep. Very high wind speeds. I'm gonna need something that's very cold. And something Mont Blanc. That's the one. Uh, what's the highest wind speed? Everything but the second from or everything but the fourth window. Open. On the second floor. Okay. So I need to go and open everything but that one. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> yeah, open everything but the fourth one, and then be on the second floor. I think. Wait, window was half open? Motherfucker. Really? First window is. God damn, I need to pay attention to that shit too? Fucking suck a dick. Alright, well, let's fucking. See if this is the right one. I guess ultimately that's just the thing I'm gonna have to do. Let's just try them all because I don't really know the answer. actually had that. So then if I had it right, then when I was on the second floor, that would have been right. There we go. Just a modification. Alright. So that's not the answer. This is gonna be fucking dumb. <laughs> That's what this is going to be fucking stupid. I should take a picture of the book, Sam says. You know what? Not a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea. There's that page. That page. And that page. All right. So, what are we going to try first? I guess let's just start at test one. We did test two already, right? Yeah. We did test two. So, test one. Wind speed of 35 on the third floor. So, I need to close floor one and two. And the bitch of the whole thing is, what if this is the wrong flower? <laughs> the other part that sucks. Is that I'm not actually sure this is the right flower I'm supposed to be calling. Okay, close one and two. Leave the third half open. Leave the second one half open. And the other way. Close the top. And then I need to be on the third floor. Let's see if this is there. Nope. Alright. And then I tried test two already. So I can just go on to test three. Which is bottom closed. I, I don't like these puzzles. I don't like these puzzles. Well, I guess if I knew the answer, it wouldn't be terrible. Okay, one is closed. Two needs to be half open. Uh, three needs to be half open in the same way. And it is. 
Um, four needs to be open. And five needs to be half open. And then I need to go to four floor. Nope. All right. <laughs> uh, I need to be on the first floor for this one, so let's go ahead and just get this done right away. Here. Half open, half open the other way. open the other way. Oh, wait, did I fuck that up? Shit. Fuck me. God damn it. Test five. All right. Half open. What's the other way? I don't know if the way it's half open matters. I'll be on the fourth floor for this one. Two needs to be closed. Three needs to be all the way open. Four needs to be all the way open. Five needs to be closed. Flower too, and I might have to do this all over again. Alright. Okay, okay. I'll need to be on the fifth floor for this one, so I may as well go all the way to the bottom. One and two need to be all the way up. the opposite. I closed that. It needs to be open. Open, open, closed, half, half. flower. <laughs> uh, I was considering it that I was looking at it from the outside from the picture, so I was doing it how it would be looking at it from the outside. for that plant. It's fun. This seems to matter, but I don't know why. Perfect. Painting microscope slides. Great! Can't fucking do it, though. Need some sugar for some? Great! Were there a bunch of clues out here that I didn't get? Was that what happened? Damn it. God damn it. Smash it. 
That's satisfying. I need to cut down the pixel. It has to be one of these. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so I need to plant that. I gotta take this over here. You have to put the sugar in first. But I also need to figure out which is the correct sugar. So let's figure that out. Cider apples. Nobby russet, davenet, fox whelp, brown snout, pit, mastin, pine, cat's head, kingston black, green ups, lord peckover, seymour's delight, bitter green streak, and merlin's mist. Is there something around here telling me which one of these is good? Whoa. Acid sugar. We need low acids, low tannins, high sugar. So a knobby russet, right? That seems right to me. You would want a knobby russet? Which one's the knobby russet? Oh, the weird, gross looking one. Okay. Yeah, let's crush a knobby uh, russet. <laughs> a Robby Nusset. Let's crush a Robby Nusset. <laughs> There's no way you get that much juice from that apple. I agree. Didn't seem good. And then we come over here, right? And then we put our pixie tears. And then we water it. I swear to God, if I have to do the fucking wind thing now. Or plastic scene using a microscope. Sure. Instead of having to obtain energy by absorbing sugars through the roots, it is therefore recommended to add a certain amount of sugar to the soil when cultivating these. Ugh, did I not figure out how much sugar to put into it? Did I put too much sugar? Nobby russet. Fucking damn it. It wasn't like a. Was there a plant? I wasn't seeing? I was telling me. thing down. Somewhere, anywhere. Okay. Can't read that. Okay. Or do I have to have the plant in there? And then I'll put an obby recipe in, right? Maybe. Didn't seem to do it, did it? Also doesn't seem to be a book around here telling me how much sugar is a good amount of sugar. short acid value is given per single apple. But I don't know how much sugar is too much sugar. Did I read a thing earlier saying what's too much sugar? What's a green ups pippin look like? Green ups eight. Kinda looks like a peach. Is that a green ups? No, that's a peck off. That's a green ups for sure. Also not the one. Can I add multiple things? I imagine I can add multiple things. Yeah. That makes it more complicated, not less complicated. None of them seem to be working. I also don't know if I just like fucked it up. Okay, it doesn't like to be Held. Okay. I just need to go and look at all my clues to see if there was a thing that... That's why I wish there was just a book to tell you all your clues that you found. You can assign clues to a thing, but it's not really the same. 
<laughs> yeah, that's just telling you about wind flowers. Okay, nothing here. This. Light leaves. Primrose. I guess I'm. No. Pixie tears. Why is pixie tears just all white? Oh, I guess it's just the color of the things. Bluebell. Okay, I'll burn. Where are the plants? The sun is the ultimate source of energy. Small organelles inside the cells of the plant are responsible for capturing the light from the sun and converting it into sugar through photosynthesis. Pot notes in the orchard. Sometimes I need to add extra nutrition to the soil. I found the following amounts to work best with different pots. 97 grams? Fuck, so that thing was important. Thanks, Sam. Ninety-seven grams of sugar. Okay. Let me pull out one of these boys here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I need a knobby russet, a cat's head, and a Merlin's mist. Knobby russet. Where's that one again? Gross looking one. Knobby russet. What's the other one? Cat's head, did I say? Cat's head. Yeah, what's cat's head look like? Cat's head. Green, poisony looking one. And what was the other one? Merlin's Mist? Is that what I said? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Merlin's Mist. Which one's that? Dun, 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 It was a blue looking one. And then let's hope I just put the plant together. Right? I did. I did it! Give me my plant. Oh, right, I need to put the clues together, too. All right. Pixie Tears no longer retains chloroplasts, which are organelles responsible for photosynthesis. Instead, the Pixie Tears obtain sugar through their roots, which is commonly finds in apples from orchards. All right, so chloroplast book, probably the slide thingy, um, pot notes, um, apples, apple binding. Cool. 
Can we assume every other one that I have is about this guy? <laughs> oh, but I'm missing one apparently. I need to go to the orangery. Orange, orangery, orangery, glad, glad I, orangery, glad I didn't uh, the, say the same thing again. What? <laughs> There's something there. Okay, how do I get to the orangery? Wait, where's my plant? Where's my, God damn it, where's my plant? Actually, I forgot about that. I didn't put my plant on the table. Yay! I had planned to beat this game today, and I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> Did your plant leave you? Eh. Yeah, that's good. That was good. Alright, where's the orangery? Excuse me. Orangery. Nine. Alright, the orangery's... Pass to the priest hole. Quack. Okay, so then I just had to figure out how to get into the priest hole. <laughs> mm. Yep. You must pay the troll's toll to get into that priest hole. Uh, there was something about weights also, right? Like, I found a clue about weights somewhere. Wind research, envelope with stamp, letter about Alps, Alpine weather, nursery rhyme, letter from the builder. What was that? Oh, that was the thing. Do I, do I just have to get into the orangery? So the symbology thing is probably going to be in the painting room. So it's going to help me figure that out. Where was the painting room? Not the painting room. Fuck, where's the painting room at? Still not the painting room, not upstairs. That means it would have to be this way, and then right. Boom. Okay. Oh, hey, my other fancy tears. Okay. Okay, okay. That. 1862. 1862? Does that seem like something? British orchids. Just a button 1862. Does that feel like that would just be that easy for an answer? I'm wondering if I could join Benenda, new kitchen scale, not suitable. Measuring flour to make my delicious scones. Agnes de Catholicism. Yeah. Or do I have to find something in the kitchen that's about scones? I'm going to try 181862 for the weights, though. It might be stupid, but I'm going to try it. One. Eight. Six. Two. 
Yeah, okay, that was... There's a shot in the dark. Where's flower, then? Right? Kindling. Dormer. Uh, oh, hey. Can you build your chestnut? Oh, that's just a chestnut thing. That's gonna be the hint I needed. And it wasn't. Never admitted a woman's study. Alright, that's the sexism. That's broken. None of those are flowers. Is a poem about flower? No. Hmm. Clearly need to figure out how much flour weighs. Or something. Because I can't put anything on that. Do I need to... I feel like I need to find a flour to put onto that, maybe? Does that seem right? To weigh it against something. You can just have it, right? This, but it doesn't really do anything or matter out here. I already did this whole puzzle. So that doesn't matter. Sam, can you tell me if I'm on the right track for like thinking I need to have something with flour? Like, what else? What else would I make? What else would I need? Done all that. Don't need to come here anymore. The closest thing I would need to go to is not here, but in the painting room. Which shows me the religious symbol. I was wondering if you could join Ms. Ben into town later this afternoon to place an order for a new kitchen scale. Yeah, trying to figure out the weights to the priest hole. The one we have is rather ancient. I'm afraid it's not suitable for measuring flour to make my delicious scones. If you could let me know your decision before the afternoon, that'd be lovely. In your service, Miss Patterson. Research proposal for structural coastal plants was a quaint interest. We have no plans to fund a small project like this, but perhaps if you are set on botanical field work, you might assist Professor Montague in working British metal orchids. Creating natural aptitude for domestic duties and much appreciated. Oh, that's more sexism. Botanical painting. Botanical painting. Botanical painting. Ba -dun -ba -dun. My glows, daisy, springs, repose, repose. How long have you ever knew? You cherish my heart sincere. Like roses, fresh as some things. That's just the map. The manor was constructed in 1593. Maybe that's it. 1593. One, five, nine, three. Oh shit, I figured it out, Sam, never mind. Oh, 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 the map was useful after all. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, I figured it out. Hell yeah. This is fucking 100% a priest hole, by the way. Disgusting. Oh man, this is oh, this is a dirty duck, priest duck. This is disgusting. Thou hast ventured mightily in granting me refuge. Within these walls, and for such favor, I remain eternally indebted to thee. The cunning of little John in his establishment of this sanctuary doth inspire awe. A saint he is to our brethren and sisters who have sought refuge from the harsh rule of Queen Elizabeth and King James. 
pray extend my gratitude unto thy cook for the sustenance provided. A welcome respite from Brother Michael's oft-repeated fare of locks and potatoes. Locks and potatoes? With the most earnest of thanks, I entreat trust that this mission missive shall not mark our final communion and that our faith may endure unbroken. Yours with devotion, R. Blount. It's the creepiest voice I could think of. Hey, and I got the seed. A small flower has long tubular petals. How interesting. Not that interesting because I don't have to figure out the fucking wind thing. Society of Botanical Science. Meets every second and fourth Wednesday from 6 o'clock at the assembly rooms in Stroud. A prospective applicant must be supported by three existing gentlemen of the society, along with evidence or research showing his dedication to the advancement of science of botany. Widows of existing fellows receive honorary membership to attend annual social events. This month's lecture is on the importance of laboratory investigation. Boom. Ooh, coins. Ninety-five. Eiffel Tower. Italia. Eighty-five. Austrich. Lady Mountaineers Club. First outing, eighteen fifty-eight. Eighty-five. They're not all dated, huh? 1865, 1858. Maybe that will be important. Could also tell me how to do the wind one. I might ask you just to fucking spoil that one for me. Fifty one Crystal Palace, London. Today marks the beginning of an intriguing adventure as I join Professor John Montague, his wife Anne Montague, and fellow botanist Robert Brown on our field trip to study British metal orchids. Everyone's enthusiasm for the subject is infectious. 3rd of August. Today, Professor Montague gathered all of us to examine a southern marsh orchid. Though upon arrival, I noticed it had a much more hooded appearance and could be a new species entirely. I pointed this out. Professor Montague laughed and explained he was simply testing us. Okay, so 1862. 1862. 1862. Wait, did it tell me where they were? No. 30th of July, 3rd of August, 1862, 1862, 1862, 1862. I don't think these coins are helping me. Okay. Hmm. Got all the clues. Fifty-eight was their first outing, but 1862 was when they figured it out. Okay. 3rd of August, 1862. Am I missing something there? I don't feel like it. Let me see. Uh, 
3rd of August. Okay, it's gonna be one of these, obviously. Uh, what? No, just tell me the wind speed it needs to be, Sam. Just tell me the wind speed. I don't care. Tell me the wind speed. This is a dumb puzzle and I don't like it. Tell me the wind speed. <laughs> if you just tell me the wind speed, I'll do the other part. And I left a bunch of those plants around, didn't I? <laughs> Okay, so the fourth floor one. Fourth floor half. There's not another on the fourth floor. Oh, there is another one on the fourth floor. Uh, just tell me the wind speed, Sam. <laughs> sure, the second floor and the fifth floor windows are closed. Second floor and fifth floor. Okay. So, test five. Got it. Test five. Go to my pictures. I just still got that shaved. Alrighty. Half open. Closed. Open, open. Closed, and then I go to the fourth floor, and I should be good to go. Yay! Not a fan of that puzzle. Like, it feels like there was a way I could have figured that out, but I didn't want to. Didn't feel like fun to figure that one out. Yay, we did it. The wolf glove grows in Mount Weisshorn, where the weather is just right. When the wind hits its tubular petals, a howling sound can be heard. Mountaineers are familiar with this flower and use it to navigate on foggy days. Looks like a bunch of dicks hanging. It's just a bunch of hanging dicks right there. I'm gonna put this on my table. Wait, where's the table? The table's up here. I'm gonna grab that key. We're gonna get to the new spot and we're gonna call it a night. And let's finish this next week. I'm enjoying this a lot more than the other game. I can tell you that right now. Let me tighten these up a little bit. I can fit all my things on this table for sure. What kind of dicks am I looking at? The ones that are super, super white and they hang real low. You know? How dicks do. Yay! Gatehouse Cooper! Yay! Amazon's here! So glad you returned safely from your travels. While you were away, I changed the code for the library door lock each time I visited. I know some of Grandmother's valuable items are kept in the secret vaults. The new code for the door is the three initials of my name to make it easy for you to remember. God damn it. I hope we can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all about your adventures. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Oh, this is going to be an awkward time to, to, to realize. I don't know my sister's names. I 
know there was probably a thing that said it somewhere, right? Elizabeth. There, in the painting room, I think there was a thing that said with the family name, right? Montague or Green. That might not be it. <laughs> Let you know the decision before. Wait. Lady Arabella. If I could join Mr. Bennett. It's just, it's a terrible way to know that you don't really know their names. <laughs> e, right. Okay, no. No. Last name Bennett. Figure this out. Did that one already. Uh, I don't think this is the right way to do this. Like it would be faster for me to just go around and read notes to figure out her name. And yet, okay, there's got right. There's got to be a better way to figure out her name. Do I have it in notes? What's the name of the house? Arabella Green. E A G. Is there a G? Arabella Green Elizabeth, maybe? Age. <laughs> Where is E? Uh, E's? Uh, I don't know. B and E? I guess? Research and compiled by Arabella Green. A G. E, but no. A. A G. A E G, maybe? No. Um, what is her name? How am I supposed to, like, know their names? Don't we really learn about flowers and names of people? It's asking a lot. That's all I'm saying. Arabella and Elizabeth. Okay, so Elizabeth is different than Arabella. Okay, so that doesn't help you then. Uh, flash lamp doesn't help. Glasses do not help. That's from Farmer Charles. Science things. Was it like in the very first place where it told me her name? My name? Her name? I don't know who I am in this game. You're Arabella, I think. Okay. That would make sense because I'm filling out this book. Okay. Gotta go back to the beginning of these notes. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor of deteriorated, though I can assure you we try to keep things at home. It doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. Okay, Elizabeth something Bennett. Right? Really see.
Her sister is Elizabeth. But she's married now. <laughs> so there's a clue. Did it say it was her maiden name or her current name? The new code for the door is the three initials of my name to make it easy. Oh, of her. <laughs> to make it easy for you to remember. I hope you can meet soon. I look forward to hearing all about your adventures of your living sister, Elizabeth. Uh, easy all the deliveries. Okay, Arabella is her last name. No, wait, that's me. Damn it. I'm the one that wrote that. Okay. The married one. Elizabeth Bennett something E something Bennett right dear Sarabella uh the Hopgood is what it says the Hopgood household is there an H I don't think there's an H up there. There is. Uh, Elizabeth. Hoba? No. Is Bennett the last name or is Hopgood the last name? Something. Uh, Hopgood. <laughs> We made, we made it, guys, and without uh, even struggling, we did good and didn't struggle at all. Her middle name is my middle name. How would I figure that out? That's ridiculous. <laughs> no kidding. I know your middle name. All right. Four new plants. Shit, this is going to be a lot next time. I should just not read anything because I'm going to forget. I'm going to forget. Right. We save right there. Oh, had I not saved this whole time? Oh, gosh. <laughs> that would have been awful. <laughs> okay. Well, let me go ahead and go over to the other cam here. Bam! Put that back up then. Um, bam, and then bam. Nope. Bam. This goes over here. Bam. All right. Not saving that. Sure. <laughs> I'm not sure of myself. No. 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 Had to save. Um. Fishy. Yeah. Can you see Ollie on there? I don't even see. Oh, Ollie's hiding, it looks like. Sleeping. No. What a good kid. Oh yeah, you can see him. Yeah, there he goes. Hell yeah. Alrighty. This game's fun. This game's more interesting. I don't know how that happened, but I dropped a bunch of lights and stuff. And a cup. And maybe some other stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Ollie. He's freaking out. My bad, Ollie. We're good. Then? Yeah, we're good. Alrighty. Gave Ollie a little heart attack. I genuinely have no idea how I made that happen. Put the cord way over there. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is more interesting than the other game. Uh, that other game was half broken and just kind of fine. This at least has some interesting puzzles and things to figure out. <laughs> it's only a little fishy, can't afford heart attacks. That's very true. That's very, very true. Um, what was I going to say? Right. We have a link tree. L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E. Slash L-O-Y-P. That's going to take you to our link tree where you're going to find podcasts and 
our YouTube archive for all of our streams, and our highlights. E just posted a highlights for Rando Fido's. Um, it has the most production work of any highlights so far. Kind, not, not technically, actually. That's a lie. Uh, Last of Us had a lot of like stuff in it, so that's a total lie. Actually, I just completely lied to you. Um, but it has some pre-production in it, so that's different, <laughs> right? I guess. I don't know. Actually, as post-production is technically what it was. There's other stuff in it than what's usually there. Um, what else? No new episode of the podcast this week. That's going to be next week with that. I have a fun idea for that one that I hope Robbie's going to be down for. I haven't brought it up to him yet. He will be gone. He won't be on that episode, and he won't uh, be around for next week. I think I believe he won't be here next week's stream if he um what else um there will be a new episode of let's talk crypt that'll be out on Tuesday check that out continuing on with season two about halfway through on that episode that comes out Tuesday uh the show is a ton of fun honestly I just enjoy doing that one. That's That one's for funsies. It doesn't get the listens that our normal podcast does even close. <laughs> um, not so far, at least. But it's fun to do. Um, I think that's all the things. I, uh, we might... I'm not gonna, I'm not going to plan. I'm not going to promise for anything. We might try something on Saturday for a stream, but I don't... I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, especially for the thing that I have for the podcast planned it probably wouldn't work out so we'll see we'll see what's there the wife in the chat says no so we'll see what happens <laughs> she she usually wins those so um i think that's all the things i'm forgetting anything somebody please let me know that's all the things um all righty ollie tell the good people goodbye Wave that back fin at him. Nope. You're ignoring him because you're angry because I, um, I, I gave you a heart attack. Totally fair. Okay. Everybody out there, have a great night. Thank you for being here. Catch ya next time for more things. Thanks, Zavoon. Thanks, uh, New York for Bits and Sam for Bits and stuff. All that good stuff. Alrighty. Uh, good night. Bye. Bye. Wave bye, Ollie. Wave bye. Wave your fan bye. Wave so fast. Ah. Thank you.